The first substantial fall storm system is developing across the country. Rounds of severe thunderstorms are expected to erupt over the coming days across the central United States, posing the threat of tornadoes, hail, and damaging wind. At the same time, Invest 99L is showing signs of developing into a tropical or subtropical storm, bringing some heavy rain along the east coast over the next several days. Beyond that, after a very dry summer in the northwest, the first of many storms will slam into Washington, Oregon, and California early next week, with a barrage of storms continuing to impact the region throughout the rest of September and perhaps the beginning of October. Firstly, let's talk about the autumn storm system over the central United States. As of Thursday morning, we are seeing the low pressure system over eastern Oregon, with widespread cloud cover and rainfall occurring across the northwest and central plains. Radar is also showing that snow is falling across the mountains in Montana, Idaho, and Oregon. As we go through the coming days, we will see this low pressure system slowly slide eastward from the northwest into the northern Rockies, before eventually reaching the plains by the weekend. This will allow the storm to organize further with a substantial and widespread severe weather event being possible. The system will continue producing storms and heavy rain by Sunday, before kind of just falling apart by Monday. Excessive rainfall will be a risk starting today across the areas in green. The greatest chance for flooding will be over parts of Oklahoma, Texas, northern Nebraska, and southern South Dakota. The flood threat will expand on Friday across eastern Montana, northern Wyoming, and the western Dakotas. On Saturday, the storm system over the central U.S. will be organizing, posing a risk for flooding from Oklahoma to North Dakota. As the storm starts to disorganize on Sunday, the flood risk will decrease across the north with a greater flood risk persisting over the Arklatex region. Lastly, the atmospheric river will arrive bringing heavy rain to the northwest. So far, only a small marginal risk is in effect for northwest California and to southwest Oregon. Before we do take a deeper dive into that incoming atmospheric river, let's talk about Invest 99L. Just before we move on with this video, some changes were made to Invest 99L. Here's the latest message from the National Hurricane Center. A broad, non-tropical area of low pressure has formed well east of Florida this morning. Although this system is forecast to remain non-tropical during the next 12 to 24 hours, the dynamical model guidance indicates that it will likely acquire tropical characteristics late Friday and early Saturday as it approaches the coast of North Carolina. Although it is unclear as to whether the cyclone detaches from a front that is forecast to extend northeastward from the center, the guidance suggests a tropical cyclone-like core and structure when it nears the coast. As a result, advisories are being initiated on potential Tropical Cyclone 16 to issue tropical storm warnings and storm surge watches for portions of the coasts of North Carolina, Virginia, and Maryland. Additional tropical watches and warnings should be issued for other portions of the Chesapeake Bay later today. The threat of excessive rainfall with the system will begin on Thursday along Florida's east coast up into coastal South Carolina. The flood risk will grow by Friday with a large slight risk extending from South Carolina to the Delmarva. On Saturday, the flood threat will shift into the Delmarva, Mid-Atlantic, and southeastern New England before moving out by Sunday, only leaving a small marginal risk over parts of southeast New England. Gusty winds and rough surf will also affect the east coast as the system progresses. If you do live in a coastal community from Florida all the way into the northeast, Make sure you are aware of rip currents and large waves before entering the water. And lastly, before we conclude this video, let's take a look at that atmospheric river heading to the northwest. The first signs of any possible flooding with the system will begin on Monday, September 25th. Once the system moves in, numerous rounds of heavy rainfall look to last all the way through the end of September, perhaps even lasting into October. The Climate Prediction Center has highlighted coastal Washington state all the way down to California under a slight risk of high winds between September 28th through the 30th. There is also a slight risk of heavy rainfall for the same region during the same time frame. That will conclude today's forecast. If you enjoyed the detailed weather breakdown, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more information on current and upcoming weather events.